Hello. Today is Wednesday of Holy Week. And the liturgies of this week, we set the stage for the events that will happen in the Triduum, those three days when we pass over with the Lord Jesus through death to life. Today, the Gospel tells us how Judas went to the high priest and asked what they would give him if he would betray Jesus. And the question is always, why did, Jesus, why did Judas do that? Why would Judas betray Jesus? You know, it is an important question. We'll probably never have the answer until we get into the next life, but it is an important question. You know, we tend to think that he was just, you know, a thief. But in some ways, there are many who say that Judas was an outsider. He was not a Galilean, but he was a Judean. And, you know, he was with the other 11 who looked at him as this outsider. And I can't help but think that Jesus gave him control over the money as a way of giving him some significance among the other 11, you know, a sign of favor. And yet, you know, we know that he betrayed him. Why? Some posit that he actually was trying to start the revolution, that he truly believed that Jesus was going to set up a kingdom in this world and that he was trying to provoke that. If Jesus was arrested, then all of his followers would rise up and try and freedom, and that would be the beginning of the revolution that would throw out the Romans and reestablish the kingdom. You know, he thought he knew better how this should all unfold. We don't know. We don't know. But we know at the end he would throw the money back into the temple and bitterly live out the last moments of his life knowing that he had betrayed this one who had trusted him, who loved him. And, and while we think about that, the reality is, is I, I know that, you know, there's a little bit of the Judas in me as well. There are times that I haven't lived up to the person I knew I could be I haven't lived up to what the Lord asks of me. And that betrays him as well. In the end, we don't know what happened to Judas. Long ago, it was thought that, well, he, he didn't make it to heaven. But I just wonder. I wonder if the Lord who called him, who loved him, in the end, forgave him. Remember what he said on the cross, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. Today we hear the story of Judas. But in the back of our minds, I hope that the mercy of the Lord Jesus will echo, will echo again and again and again, not just for Judas, but for us all. For the Lord gave his life to show his great love for us. Have a great journey to Easter.